Where do you live at now? Farmington or Shiprock? I live in Farmington. Okay. And uh, who do you live with? Uh, so I live with my boyfriend right now. He's a pretty good guy. Okay. okay. So you were born in Farmington. Um, who raised you growing up? Well, that's a hard question to answer, but I, uh, my mom and my dad. Okay, all right. Are they still both around? They're around. Um, I just don't really see them. Okay. So when you said that you were basically raised by your mom and your dad, what do you mean by that? Well, well first of all, they weren't married where a lot of my friends' parents were married. And I felt like an outcast because I just really didn't fit in with the other kids saying that, oh, their mom and dad this, and their mom and dad that, and I mean, I saw my parents and talked to them sometimes, but I really just had a lot of arguments with them. Okay. So you said you were raised by your mom and your dad. It, it kind of sounds like maybe you were with one of them more than the other, or one wasn't around as much. Is that kind of the case? Well, that's to put it lightly. Okay. Um, my dad was always gone off of his buddies drinking or whatever they were doing. Okay. So, I mean, I was left with my mom a lot of the time. Like, he would come home and be drunk or start yelling at her or yelling at us. And, yeah, it just wasn't the best. Okay. How's your relationship with your mom growing up? Uh, well, she... She worked off and on, um, and there were times where she would leave me to take care of my little brother, and I mean, I didn't like her for that. I didn't like both my parents because they just expected a lot from me, and they weren't doing anything. Okay. Do you have any other siblings besides that you said you have a little brother? No. Okay. How much younger is he about than you? About two years. Okay, all right. Where's he at now? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay. So you, you don't really have a relationship right now with like both of your parents or your brother for that matter? Not really. I mean, once in a while I see him like at Walmart, but I mean, he does his own thing and I do my own thing. And okay. I don't want to argue with him because a lot of times we just end up arguing about stuff. Okay. <laughs> So did you, growing up, did you get along with him? I guess out of the three, my mom, my dad, and him, he was probably the only one that I kind of got along with. Okay. Do you miss him? Mm -hmm. Some days I do. Some days I don't. Some days I love him. Some days I just, it wouldn't matter if I saw him or not. Okay. So you kind of mentioned like Farmington, Shiprock. Did you move back and forth a lot or what was kind of the deal there? Yeah, well, when my dad, I mean, he didn't really work, so he couldn't really pay the rent. So we'd come back over here, end up living with my mom's mom, and that's what we did. And we'd go back when he would get his stuff together and get us our apartment back and then it would happen again. So yeah, we would move a bit back and forth. Okay. What about the, all that back and forth? Did you get a lot of close friends growing up at all? Well, I thought I had friends, um, but it seemed like they would always do something or say something to me that would just really piss me off and I would just distance myself from them. And then, Time would go by and I'd see him, we'd be friends again, and then they would say or do something that would make me mad. And I would just say, leave me alone, go away. Okay. Would you say you have any, like, say right now, would you say you have any close friends at all? Um, does my dog count? Do you think it counts? 
I guess. They say dogs are people's best friends, so I guess so. Okay, I would never leave dogs out of a friendship category, that's for sure. So, so you, got, you got a dog. How long have you had your dog for? <laughs> uh, about two days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That happens sometimes. It, it actually feels more like two months or two years because he's so needy and I'm just like, get away from me, go away. Mm -hmm. But then I want him to come and lick my my hands if I've got like cheese, Cheetos on them or something. Yeah. Well, the dogs are good for that. They're a lot more reliable than humans can be sometimes. Mm -hmm. when, when did you say the last time you seen like mom or dad was or estimate um let's see so i've been living with my boyfriend for about three weeks now so i mean i'm guessing maybe i've seen my dad six months ago okay and i saw my mom recently but it was just kind of like hi from a distance mm -hmm. and that was probably about a, maybe a month ago maybe right after that is when i met my Okay. And so you've seen them somewhat recently, you just kind of your mom from a distance. Okay. And your brother? Uh, I don't really see him that often. I mean, I see him, you know, here and there, but it's, again, not one of those relationships where I see him and I go up and I hug him or anything. It's mm -hmm. just like, hey, and that's about it. Okay. Do you have any nieces or nephews or those little guys? Does he have any of those? Uh, no. No? I don't think he could handle that. Okay. Do you have kids? Uh, yes. And okay. I can't handle it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, obviously you have kids. That's uh, what you talked about earlier. How many kids do you have? I have two. Two kids? Yeah. Oh, okay. How old are they? Um, five. Okay. And six. Oh. Um, you had them right, right on top of each other, huh? Yeah, that might have been a mistake. Okay. So where are they at right now? Um, well, they kind of live with my grandma right now. Okay. They stay with grandma? Mm -hmm. Where's she at? She's here in Shiprock. Okay. How often do you guys see your kids? Mm. Well, I haven't seen them for three weeks. Um, I did call my grandma and ask to talk to them, but they were busy watching their cartoons, their shows, and um, they didn't really want to talk to me. Okay. So besides that, um, I saw them at Christmas. Okay. I took them a couple of presents, and um, I guess I mean, now that I think about it, I haven't seen them that much lately. Okay. And you said five, five and six, boy, girl, boy, boy, girl, girl? Two girls. Okay. Are they in school? Um, they're in preschool, preschool? yeah. Okay. And I, I think they're going to be going on to kindergarten pretty soon. I, okay. just, I just feel like um, I just couldn't handle taking care of them, and I didn't want to yell at them all the time. My grandma had to step in and help me out. Okay. Um, kind of going back just a, for just a second. Are your parents still together right now? Or are they? <laughs> no. No? No. When did they split up or separate? Or? So that's a good question <laughs> because I can't really keep track. They get back together. <laughs> they break up. They, they weren't married, like I said, so mm -hmm. they just kind of have this weird relationship. Um, but it's weird because they're old. I mean, they're like, I don't know, like 50 or something? Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't understand why they're even bothering anymore. Yeah. So they're still, I mean, somewhat off again, on again, or who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. How many times would you say they kind of did that breakup back together while you were oh still living gosh. with them? Too um, many times to count? Probably per month, maybe <laughs> maybe twice a month or something like that. It was always like this. Per 
production they would put on and then I would get stuck uh, with my brother and try to protect him, but um, whatever. Protect him how? Well, to try to keep him out of their way. Okay. Because I'm really the one that got the brunt of everything. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that got shoved or pushed out of the way and I mean, that's basically what my life has been like. Nobody was really there to protect me. I mean, I mean, he's younger than me, and I'm the only one that could protect him, really. Yeah. So th there sounds like there's a bit of domestic violence in your house growing up. Is that what it's called? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, be. yeah. Just yelling and screaming and hitting and pushing and shoving. Mm -hmm. um, well, we'll come to that back to that in a minute. So your kids are with uh, Grandma right now. Mm-hmm. And... Mm -hmm. As far as you know, how do they like that scenario then? Well, I guess they really like it because they're not trying to come visit me or they're not calling me. Okay. So I guess they like it. But it sounds like you kind of want to see them more often or be able to have a better relationship with them. Is that correct? I do, um, but I just don't want to yell at them and scream at them when they do something that Okay, and we'll, and we'll talk about that further on once we get into like the counseling part of things and figure out how we can best deal with that at that point. Um, so five and six, and no other kids, step kids, or anything like that at all. Uh, not that I know of. Okay. Um. <laughs> I, I would assume you'd know that you had other kids out there, but. <laughs> yeah, not 